Hello lovely bookworms, I'm Esme from Paradise Pages on Instagram and also on Twitter and welcome to a new video. Hey guys, it is Esme from the future and before we actually get into the video I wanted to address a couple of things. First and foremost, this video was pre-recorded and was supposed to be on time. Um, then everything went shit, literally, and um, there's just a lot going on. Um, you've already seen in the reading vlogs that Sasha isn't doing great, that is still the case, but she's still here. On top of all of that, um, we have a funeral to arrange because my father's brother, so my uncle, has passed away last Wednesday. And I actually asked you guys if you still wanted to see this video because I personally thought it would be way too late, but all of you said that you still really wanted to see it, so... Here it is, and I thought I would quickly do this intro that said you will see this face a little bit later on in the video because I have actually uh, switched out one book for another book. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully uh, you don't <laughs> you don't mind that too much. It's a bit of a mess, but um, here we are. So let's just start with the video and welcome to another video of Game of Books. So as usual, we're gonna be using I have it upside down, but we're going to be using the Game of the Books board. I am very much excited to do this once again. There's one difference from now on with this game, which I'll explain. First, I'll put this away because it messes with my white balance very much so. The only thing that is going to change is the amount of rolls. So usually I do six rolls, but I just can't do that right now. And I think to make it fun for myself, I'm going to be changing that rule to not six, but five books. It's only one less, and I think that will give me a lot more fun in the game. And in general, I think that would help me a lot. That said, the surpassing 63 rule is still there. We can still surpass a 63 because I am using a d20. If you don't know what that is, it is basically a dice that has 20 sides, so I can get to up to 20 each roll, so I can easily surpass the 63 so that rule is still there that said i think we should just get started and get to the board so yeah let's just start with roll number one welcome to another round of game of the books i'm very excited to get back into the swing of things and just to get this game started again as i've already mentioned in the intro we're going to be rolling five times instead of six from now on to keep it a little bit more manageable and also to keep it fun for myself because I was literally sucking the fun out of it for myself, and we don't want that. So, that said, let's just quickly get started with roll number one. Before I do, of course, the surpassing 63 roll is still there. If I surpass 63, we're reading six books. That said, I think that is everything for now, and let's just get started. I have my trusty dice once again, so let's start with roll number one. 19. We're starting off strong and we're going to a blue. So that's the first one. Read a book with a blue cover. I hope you can read that. Alright, I can work with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I like this. Alright, so roll number one was a blue and that one was read a book with a blue cover. I mean, that's why I made it. It's a blue card, it's a blue book. And luckily for me, I have quite a few of these. And the book that I've picked for this is actually one that I've been wanting to read for quite a long time. And that is The Girl the Sea Gave Back. It's actually not quite a long time. It's ever since I got it, like, two months ago. But anyway, I think this has something to do with the clans and basically a girl that was given back by a different clan or given back by the sea. And she has these sort of abilities to sort of see the future, I think, which is as much as I know. But... Yeah, I'm very excited to be getting into this one, and hopefully I will enjoy it as well. So that was the first prompt, and let's just get to roll number two. Let's continue on to roll number two. Let's hope we're not rolling this high. Eleven. Thirty. That's a purple. All right, let's grab the first one. Also, I know that the colors look a little bit different, but trust me when I say that it is a purple. Read a random book on your shelf. That is always a good prompt. So I'm excited to do that. 
Roll number two was a purple, and it was read a random book on your shelf. I always like these kinds of things because it literally gives you freedom wherever. Uh, the only restriction I have with this one is that I have to read a book that I own, but I have enough books that are still unread that are on my shelf. So let's just get to the book that I picked for this one. So the book that I've picked for this one is actually one that I've won in a giveaway, and that one is... Crown of Oblivion by, I'm gonna attempt it, Julie Eshbaugh. Eshbaugh? Julie. And this one I think is basically something along the lines of a race and a race with death or something and princesses and it's interesting. I usually just don't know too much about my books. I think I've mentioned that a ton of times on here, but I don't know too much about the books and then I just go into them um, not knowing too much and surprising myself as well, which sometimes really really happens So yeah, I'm excited to get into this and as I said, I actually won this in January around my birthday So it was it was literally Amazing, so that was book number two and let's get to the third prompt. All right, let's continue on to roll number three Six Oh, it's nine. Blue. Another blue. Okay. Oh. Read a book below 400 pages. That is always nice for something like this. Okay, so prompt number three is a blue once again. I think we had a blue before. And that is read a book below 400 pages. That is always nice in a month like this and the book that i've picked for this is also one that i've recently pretty recently acquired but i love the writer and that is warrior of the wild uh, warrior of the wild by trisha levenseller and let me quickly check i was pretty sure this is below yeah this is let me get it to the end 326 pages so it's definitely below 400 and in general, I'm just so excited to finally be able to dive into this one. I, I'm i just very curious. I'm very much into the clan thing this month, apparently. And yeah, I'm excited to get into this and get cracking. All right, roll number four. So far looking good. We're not going too far yet. Let's hope we can keep it under the 63. Two. All right, that's pink. Read a book you know nothing about. Hmm, I'll have to figure that one out, but it's an interesting prompt, definitely. Okay, so prompt number four was a pink, and that is read a book you know nothing about. And this one is a little bit more difficult, but it actually fits perfectly, which I didn't know. So for this month, I actually have to read The Devouring Grey for a... I want to say readathon, but I have to read it for a book club. I'll talk about this a little bit later and more in depth. Um, but I will be doing a live show on this as well in August. So by the time that is here, I'll let you know. So yeah, I will be reading The Devouring Grey. And apart from the fact that I know I've put it on my TBR somewhere along the lines. And I took it off my TBR somewhere along the lines. And I've put it back on it just a bit ago because I am I have to read it. I don't know too much about it. And I do know that it is different from what I usually read, but that is about where it ends. And I'm just in general excited to see what it's about. I'm just gonna go in head first, not knowing what to expect, and hopefully I will be liking it a lot. Okay, the final roll. Five. Another pink. We're not going all colors this month. Read a final book in a series. Oh, that is the perfect prompt for this month because I have a certain book in mind. I love this. Okay. So the final prompt was read the final book in a series. And I actually originally picked Empire of Gold by S.A. Chakraborty for this, but I don't want to go into a huge book at the moment, so I have switched it out for another uh, recent release, which is Unravel the Dusk. I don't have the book here with me now. It is actually downstairs, but I have a lot of enthusiasm for that book. I know it doesn't look the part, but I am so excited to finally be reading that. So I've actually switched that out. It's the final book in the Spinadon duology. It's actually, I think, the, called the Blood of Stars or something duology. 
and yeah that is the final book for this game of the books so let's just continue on to the regular video that said i hope you have liked this game of the books once again it is it's back i'm back hopefully i'm gonna attempt to film as much for you guys as possible i actually asked you a while back if you wanted to see an updated plants and books video i will do that soon and in general i think that is everything for this video i want to thank you guys so much for watching but also for all the kind messages that i've gotten both here and also on twitter uh, instagram about sasha and in general about how i'm feeling which really means the world to me you guys are absolutely amazing and thank you for your loyalty and for your friendship and i do really hope that all of you are okay if you ever need someone to talk to just hit me up i'll be there and i definitely hope to be catching you guys in the next one bye